You may think your first duty is that of conquest, to bring the war to as swift an end as possible. But I'm afraid there is much more to being a monarch than military matters alone. As a commander, as an emperor, you'll have to constantly endeavor to find that delicate balance between your roles as strategist and statesman, for the one necessarily influences the other. On the command deck of the Raven, you will just as in StarCraft 2 be able to visit various areas of interest, starting with engineering. You want gizmos? You want imps. You want the unthinkable? You want imps. You want great, big, loud, bright fire explosions? Lords above, it's imps you want. We live for all that is new and shiny. Or stuff for the dragon. What? Oh, do forgive me, my friend. I was so lost in thought, not even an elven ranger could have led me out of its wilderness. After you are done exploring the raven, head back to the command deck and click on the map. On the map you will be able to build one building on each country that you control and start moving around your troops just like in a risk game. But it won't be long uh, until your opponent has invaded your country and a battle is about to start. At this stage of the game, you pick the hero you want to have, leading you in glorious battle and look through the various abilities you might have at your disposal. And then you check through what are the odds of you winning, you being blue, them being red, and then you decide. Let's ready the tools, my lord! As the battle starts, you start sending out your units to the various platforms spread out across the map. Controlling the platforms means you can either build a building to get resources or or buildings to produce units. But don't take too long, your opponent is already on the move. The games might start very slow, but soon enough, things speed up. May the fire of the dragon obliterate every heretic in its way. May the light of the gods illuminate your soul. As soon as you enter dragon mode, all your acquired skills will show up at the bottom of the screen in the new UI that pops up. And you can easily maneuver the dragon by using your mouse and your direction keys. How's it hanging, Commander? I'm Scarlet, and you're a dragon, they tell me. Always wanted to ride one of those, though I bet you're a little harder to handle than a horse. Oh. To command your troops in dragon form, all you need to do is go close to them, press F4, Point to the direction you want them to attack, and press Q. And then just speed back to the battlefield using your jetpack. Remember to use your right mouse button with the direction keys to be able to strafe and avoid incoming missiles. Taking a few hits is just okay, but soon enough you better start working on those strafe skills, because there will be more missiles in there than you can count. And if you stop strafing, well, let's just say it doesn't work out that good. <laughs> no, it's just new. But don't worry, if you die with your dragon, you can summon him again after the counter down at the bottom ticks down and you have enough resources for it. Yes, Commander. Seemed hardly proper to call you by that particular pet name on what was somewhat of an official occasion. But don't worry, I may still slip up once or twice even though my respect for you is in fact growing. You've got a knack for bloody brutal battle, and Feigned Hard never won fair victory. A happy people, one with the wilds, will fight for its country with redoubled zeal. To that effect, I hope we'll have your backing. <laughs> 